Okay. Yeah, so. been on my bucket list for quite some time. We have started off from Munich to this very special castle called the Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein Castle. Neuschwanstein You can just read the spelling. Yeah. Yeah. Also, from today's episode, we have a new member joining us on the trip. That is... Which is out. Pankaj. Hello. Welcome to the day trip show. I'm looking forward to be part of it. Yay. We'll see more of Pankaj. And now we are headed to the Neuschwanstein Castle, which is close to Fusen from Munich. Hop on the bus. A walk? Uh, no, the walk is too long. Let's hop on the bus. So now we have reached the castle. It was a very short bus trip from the station to the castle, and we are hoping to get the tickets to go and see the castle from inside. Really excited to do that. Get tickets. It costs 13 euro, and when you're coming from Fusen Station to the ticket window, it costs four and four euro sixty cents, and it's a return ticket. We actually got quite lucky because when you have to book the tickets online, the tickets need to be booked at least two days in advance. After like after that, they close the reservations, and you have to depend on your luck to get your ticket from here. And if so. you want to. If you want to see two castles, you can buy a combination ticket which we haven't got. Uh, it costs twenty five euros, so you save one euro. Awesome. Schwanstein Castle and um, there are 
two other castles. One is called the Hohenschwangau Castle and the other one is the Museum of the Bavarian Kings. You can buy a combination of all of these three tickets at the ticket window downstairs and Pankaj will tell you more about the experience. So they basically have two kinds of shows that you can go and enter there. One which is a guided tour by a person and second is an audio guided tour. The good thing about it is that the audio guided tour is also headed by a person who takes you along to each of the places and then the audio starts. Uh, it's a 25 to 30 minute thing where you go, you see a lot of things inside. We started off by the servant's room, we were shown the king's room, bedroom, his salon, his writing place and everything. Uh, it's a very mixed thing because you will be spending a lot of money reaching there from Munich and then entering there, taking a trek and everything. Uh, for me personally, I was very impressed with how pretty the castle was. I actually wanted them to show me a lot more of it around. It was so good that it left me craving for more. And now Parampa will tell you her experience about that. So as Pankat said, the castle was really beautiful. Uh, in fact, it's one of the prettiest castles or prettiest forms of architecture that I have seen in Europe. Uh, I maintain my stand that the prettiest architecture that I've seen otherwise in terms of palaces and castles happens to be in Istanbul and this comes quite close to that. Uh, it's not the regular architecture that we see in uh, European structures and yeah I mean you, we could just keep looking at uh, the castle it's also uh, FII it's also one of the most photographed uh, castles all over Europe and uh, yeah I mean I really felt that the tour went by too quick so since we were already hungry after that the next thing we did was we had some good pizza also guys 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 important okay if you like this video please like so yes that is the end of our day trip in Neuschweinstein castle so that was the end of our day trip from madam how do you pronounce it Neuschweinstein castle yeah and before I say goodbye, as usual, I'm going to give you guys, we are going to give you guys a few tips and some summary of our day trip today. To start with, it takes a lot of time, I personally feel, just traveling uh, to take this day trip. Like, it takes two hours to get to Fusen from Munich and then it takes another 10 minutes to get from Fusen uh, to Schwangau where the castle actually is and then there's another 20 minutes trek so that is just the one way journey and then you again get back uh, the frequency of trains is hourly so again that's not something that you can totally bank on and yeah I mean that's a good five six hours just spent traveling in one entire day to explore three castles and for that I think a 30 minutes tour is too less so considering that it takes about five to six hours just traveling i think the best way to go up to the castle is uh, by either taking a horse carriage which cost around seven and a half euro or go by bus so that you are not tired when you reach the castle uh, also please remember that uh, photography is not at all allowed in the castle you have to keep your cameras inside you have to keep your phones inside and that is one bad thing about that tour you know it's not a bad thing, it's just exclusivity. Yeah, but you can't show anyone what you... But I think it's a bad thing because considering if I'm going inside, I would like to make memories out of it because yeah. they have so much history inside. They have so much And it's so beautiful inside. from inside. It's so beautiful inside, right? Yeah. You definitely need something to take back home and show it to other people and like make them also come back for it, right? That's not possible You can't explain in it in castle. words, you can well, show it to them. <laughs> where the camera phone generation of course that was the end of our day trip and uh, we really enjoyed our day and we are a little bit conflicted but yeah i mean we did really enjoy our day uh, but alternatively when you come here you can uh, combine it with the other castle or the museum of the bavarian kings and enjoy a lot more you could also try uh, trekking because i think the roads were like really good for hiking and trekking and 
I think yeah. find hidden do spots. Do tell us if you do that. Do find, tell us if you do that. Yeah. Find hidden spots from where you can capture the entire castle. There are a few spots, and you need to ask locals for it because uh, there's hardly any information available on the internet. Yeah, for If you obviously like this video, don't forget to like, share, click, comment, and subscribe to our channel, World Culture Network.